Cheers, Legends. Sammy from Short and Stout Beer Reviews. We've got some more Aussie craft for you. Good old mountain culture. One of my favourites. So they're based in the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, which is, yeah, like they're west of Sydney. And, uh, yeah, this is a New England IPA at 6.9% called At The Door. Pretty cool can artwork. Trippy sort of thing. Uh, the hops in this one are uh, Mega Motueka. Motueka, and then they've got the Phantasm in there as well. And they've also added Southern Cross late as well, I think. It says one of the fluffiest, lightest New Englands they've had so far. Pretty cool. So let's pour in the glass. And cheers to anyone that's chiming in. I've just knocked off night shift, so hence why I'm probably look a bit tired. Got the proper glassware. Yeah, I was like, stuff it. I'll have a shower and crack a few beers and we'll worry about sleep later. Had a pretty rough night, so I was always going to come home and have a beer. So, yeah, pour's probably medium to full body. One finger head. Sort of like a dull orange. Very cloudy. Looks, yeah, very like sort of smooth, pillowy sort of mouthfeel by the looks. But, yeah, let's have a whiff. Pretty pumped for this one. I mean, I do get over hazies quite often, but... Every now and then you'll just get one. You think, yeah, this is going to be a good one. So I'm getting a huge lemon and lime with this one. There's a bit of melon. Might be a bit of peach as well. Definitely sweet, but you're getting like a like a grassy vibe, like almost like floral. Hmm, smells pretty good. I'm going in. Cheers. Hmm, that's a very soft and pillowy mouthfeel. Delightful. It's definitely got that like zingy, zingy lemon and lime sort of thing going on. You get that with a lot of New Zealand hops, I reckon. Just packs a punch with flavour. I reckon I'm getting some pineapple as well. But yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Ghost Brother. Good to see you. Hope you're enjoying a nice cold one. I haven't actually been on a panel with you for a while, mate. Yeah, pineapple, passion fruit, melon. But, yeah, definitely, like, the prominent flavours are lemon and lime. There's not much bitterness. Might be a touch of dankness. It's definitely got those grassy vibes. But, yeah, the mouth feels lush, like, just so soft and smooth. <laughs> In other words, you're saying I might have to go live after this review, Craig, to help you out. <laughs> it looked pretty rowdy when I first chimed in. I'm like, Jesus. 
cool, dude. Whatever hits the spot. Cheers, Steve. Good to see you. <laughs> You've been found out. You're guilty. Cheers, Mr. Isms. I'm going to come up with some Sammy isms to challenge you. I so wish you peeps could try mountain culture and range and banks. They're the three I'd love to show you. But yeah, mega motoweta. I don't know like what makes it mega. I have heard that there was like a super sort of strength motoweka, so that's obviously it. Pardon me. But yeah, so, like Southern Cross is one of my favourite hops. I think they've added that to the weight. Um. With Southern Cross, I always get lemon and lime as well. So, yeah, that would, with Motueka, I'm not surprised I'm getting that. Um, but I also get pine with Southern Cross quite often. But, yeah, I'm not getting any pine in this beer. It's just all juice. Juicy boy. Yeah, but mainly citrus. And, yeah, it's just got that real, like, zingy. I like it. It's good shit. Yeah, for sure, dude. I would have jumped on Geordie's, but, like, I was still coming home from work and then, yeah, I was rushing around just trying to get this review sorted. And then, yeah, I've got a mate that's invited me to one of his shows a little later. So, yeah, sort of swarmed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Steve. I reckon if you were drinking some of those big ABV beers like Craig, I reckon he, I reckon you'd be under the table, not him. It's a different world when you're uh, used to craft beers and you drink a lot of, like, doubles and stuff. You you soon get used to them and you'll drink them with someone that's a, like, beginner and, yeah, it, it <laughs> messes them up real bad. I nearly swore then and I held myself back. Got to try and cut out the profanities. The profanities are good on the hangouts, no dramas at all, but when I'm doing reviews like this, I need to try and yeah, cut them here. Yeah, boy. So, yeah, I need to, um, one thing I've been looking at, I want to make a logo for my channel and I know sort of exactly what I want, but I need like that person that's sort of good with like digital imaging and like computer graphic sort of stuff. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to that sort of stuff. I've got no idea what I'm doing. So I could sort of draw it. I'm not too bad arty just like with drawing and stuff, but yeah, just have no idea how to do it on a computer. Where are we up to with the comments? There we go. Oh, what was it, dude? Was it a local? Cheers, Matakataki. Have to have a beer with you some stage, dude. It's been a while. 
how's that PS5 going? Have you have you got sore fingers from all the button pressing? <laughs> This is going down a treat, boys and girls. Yeah, if you like your um, yeah, citrus hazies that have got that zestiness and that slight sort of slight tang, slight tardiness, the soft pillowy body, this is right down your alley. Those kiwi hops, they're good shit. Yeah, dude, look out for that ghost diamond. So I know that it wasn't on the, like in that photo you showed, but if you can get it, you need to get it. I need to find some peeps to do that beer with. Because out of all the hype stuff I've got, I think that's the only one left now. I'm no longer a treehouse boy. Damn it. I've seen some more of their beers are starting to pop up here. So I think you definitely need to get that coffee stout, whatever that is. That is it Reeve, Rev? I don't know, something like that. And I will try and get another one. Because, yeah, that would be a good one to do together. Um, when, you, when you said I can get the MC, I'm like, what? Mountain culture. <laughs> I've got a Westie by these guys. And it's like highly rated. It's apparently they've used a heap of, they've used it like quite a bit of wheat in the malt bill. And yeah, it's like, it's heaps different to what they've done previously. And there's a lot of people banging on about how good it is. So I've got that in the fridge. I'm like, ooh, maybe I do another review after this one. <laughs> I do have a couple of cans though, so I can just drink it if I want. Love my Westies. So I did I did three beer orders yesterday. One was for Mountain Culture's new stuff. They had, I think they had a, a hazy and a Belgian, pretty sure it was like a Belgian strong ale or something like that. I thought that's pretty rad, like something different. And then Range have got their Juicy Festival up in Brisbane this weekend. And they've just done four absolutely massive juicy beers. So I got two cans of each of them. And then Banks did. Banks have done a West Coast, a new Citra Hazy. When they do the all Citra Hazies, they just they they knock it out of the park. I don't know what it is with Banks and Citra, but yeah, they're they're hazies when they do them. They <laughs> They're like world class. I don't know what it is, but. And then I reckon they had like a. Choo choo. <laughs> I reckon they had like a. Um... I reckon it was like a Pilsner or something. It was something different. Well, actually, it might have even been a California IPA. But anyway, whatever it was, it was three different beers. And then, so that's three orders from three favourite breweries. And then the last one was from a bottle shop the other side of Melbourne. I just got a heap of mixed stuff. I even got like some, um, just some like local Pilsners and Belgian style stuff. A couple of big like stouts. One of them's like a raspberry, I think it's like a barrel aged raspberry stout and it's got like huge ratings. So pretty excited for that one. But, yeah, it's like I don't really have too much coming up, like up on weekends and stuff, so I try to do some beer orders. So, yeah, like it's like I've got plenty of stuff 
to have at home and just relax and not having to try and order at last minute. When you live in the sticks like I do, you sort of got to be prepared and like order in advance. Otherwise, you run out of beer and then you go do a little trip to the supermarket and drink shit. So I'm going to pour the rest of this bad boy in. So yeah, out of all my mountain culture glasses, this would definitely be one of my favourites, but there is like a foil glass. It's sort of got like a, a flat bottom with a little stem and then, yeah, like, like it's sort of narrow and it looks like <laughs> effing <laughs> unreal. <laughs> it looks unreal when you are um, you put in like stouts and, yeah, like, I don't know, big glorious beers because it's got like gold font on it and this looks really good. Anyway, I need to stop talking trash and get on with the beer. We're not here to fornicate with the arachnids, as they say. So, yeah, score-wise with this bad boy, I would say she's probably about a 4.4 4 out of 5. Very, very good. And it's sort of like, because I've been drinking a lot of American stuff lately, it's good to have a, like, a top-level Aussie beer again. So, yeah. If you can get MC, which a lot of you can't, but any of my Aussie friends out there or Kiwis or even, like, some of, if you're in Southeast Asia, I think you can get them. Get around them. They are banging. So, yeah, I don't know what people are doing now, whether maybe I go just for a live hangout or someone's doing something, but, yeah, we'll have a chat. Cheers.